good. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, nice to have you here. Thanks for coming into the live session. Thank you. And I'm sure everyone is waiting for you now. We're going to be discussing a lot of things. So, um, first of all, just introduce yourself. Let's know you. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Ben Dankwa. And, uh, you know, I'm an ordinary guy that you all know. Those that, those that know me know, know that I'm just a simple guy. Um, you know, the average guy that you see out there on the street. Mm. Okay, cool. <laughs> I like that. The average guy that you see on the streets. Okay, well done. Okay, so now let's start with the filming industry. How did the journey start? Okay, so the journey started from Ghana. So I'm, I'm, from, I'm from Ghana. I now live in the UK and I'm a civil engineer in the UK. Um, but since I've been, uh, since my childhood, um, I found out that I love the creative art side of things. Um, you know, I always loved uh, the movie industry and that kind of stuff. So I had two passions. Uh, whilst I was, I, I was at school, um, uh, I loved the idea of being an engineer right from the age of like five or six. And I also wanted to be in the entertainment industry. So I was always battling with it too. So the school that I went to, which is uh, St. Augustine's College in Cape Coast, Ghana, offered me the option to do um, science and also music at the same time. And uh, I really did embrace that uh, because uh, though um, I really, I, because I was confused, I didn't know what to choose. I was yeah. always interested to make sure that I don't leave one behind. So in my O levels, I did uh, science and music. And then since then, when I finished uh, school, um, I had a, a drama troupe in Takwara. They, you know, there's a group that we had, Star of the Sea Youth Club, and we used to go around doing dramas and that kind of stuff to people. And my first script I actually wrote in 1995. So yes, so creative arts has always been there, but uh, I'm, I'm also, uh, I'm proud to be an engineer also working in London and uh, you know, I've been on some of the uh, uh, most prestigious project in, in London as well. Okay, wow, interesting, well done. So why filmmaking? Why, why, I mean, why filmmaking? So filmmaking is, is more than just entertainment uh, in, in, in my words. It's the way of educating people. It's a way of telling people that, you know, there is real things out there that perhaps they haven't uh, managed to get themselves into, luckily or unluckily. Uh, but it's things that we can demonstrate to people uh, to show them uh, to be careful out there. So my brand is uh, is tackling social uh, issues to, to make sure that uh, people don't get caught out on on stuff that is happening out there that could catch them out so i only tackle social issues but in an entertaining way so people wow. watching it will be learning uh, yes at the same time they'll be entertained so mm. Interesting because I've actually seen some of your series, the trending crimes. We're still going to come back to that, but um, let's start now. So, how do you communicate your ideas to your audience? Okay, so the way I communicate my ideas is uh, through my creative writing, and most of the stories that I treat are things that have actually happened to people in real life. You know, so for example, I've got a show out there on Amazon Prime called trending crimes trending crimes and um, the name trending uh, came from my engineering side of things because i i track at work at, at work i you know i started tracking non-conformances you know things that hasn't actually gone the way they should do in the engineering yeah. world and then yes. tracking them so that we can learn lessons from them so they don't happen to us again if you know if you know what i mean so then yes. I, I sat down one day and i thought you know what we could do the same with crime because there are crimes out there that are catching people out all the time you know and uh, we could trend it and if we trend that people would learn from from those little tricks uh, they're yes. not necessarily violent 
but they catch people and people lose you know millions every day so uh -huh. so we started that so my brand is to actually track social issues and bring it in in the entertainment realm and uh, uh -huh. you know for so people can find it exciting but at the same time we're educating people uh -huh. Wow, interesting. So why why do you create your brand? Why are you creating your brand? You know, what's the reason behind it? Well, the reason the reason behind creating my brand is uh, I believe that we are quite unique and uh, we can uh, uh, coming from the outside because I yes. call myself outside because I, I'm a professional engineer. Um, yes. So coming from outside, we telling our story the way we see it as opposed to waiting for Hollywood or Nollywood uh, uh, to uh, kind of tell us how it should be told. You know, but at the same time, we're not being um, uh, pompous over, you know, the, our, our style. Um, we are always making sure that we're conforming to the industry standards. So um. we create a brand to be unique. You know, to be unique in the form of how we tell the story, to be yes. unique in the form that, um, you know, what we are doing is things that are real, that people will learn the truth from and that kind of start from it. But at the same time, also conforming to the way Hollywood does stuff or the way Nollywood does stuff. Um, yes. So that's why we thought that a brand like ours is worth creating. Created. Oh wow! Thank you so much. Me. Okay, now I know you've got the Ghanaian um, background and all that. So, who are your audience? Who are your fans? You know, your movie industry. Is it just for the Ghanaians? Or you need to let people know. So, who are your audience? Yes. Thank you very much. Um, you know, somebody once said that the world is your oyster. Um, I don't. I try not to conform into a particular bucket. Or I try not to limit myself to uh, you know a specific market. Mine is open to the world. It's an African story that we tell, it, or you could call it an English story if you want, yes. because we we'll be treating some subjects from the UK as well. But um, it is a subject that is open to the whole world. So I'm not limiting my audience to Africans or Londoners or it is, a, you know, um, my audience is the world, you know, it's the world. and beyond. No limit. So, no limit. So your audience is just the world. Wow, so interesting. So you've heard it all. His audience is actually the world. So there's no limitation. His movies are actually like, you know, for anyone to watch. So do you really want to tell us a little bit about trending crimes? You know, it's on Amazon. And why did you choose Amazon? You know, why not other platforms? Okay, so um, trending crimes is actually, um, like I said before, we are trending the crimes, everyday crimes. Yes. And not necessarily violent ones, but they are tricks that, you know, we got tricksters that are, you know, scamming people from their hard earned cash. So we're trending those. Um, I chose Amazon because, uh, and, and I'm not limited to Amazon at all, um, but currently we are on Amazon because we thought that if we release this strategically, we are bound to make an impact in the world. Yes. So first of all, we released it uh, on Amazon Prime UK. Then we extended it to Amazon Prime US. Yes. And currently, we are also talking to few other platforms. Um, we're negotiating to how we can now extend this to Africa, uh, you know, the Caribbean and, the, and, and beyond. Beyond, wow. So has it been an easy thing, you know? Has it been easy doing this? Not at all. Uh, I mean, this is sacrifice. Uh, if uh, if you were to ask me now that if I had someone sat me down and gave me a briefing to see uh, to say that Ben, this is what you're gonna endure when you yes. go on this journey. If you ask me the question, would I have gone on it? My answer probably would be I would have thought about it twice, you know. But um, coming from a management side of things, project management side of things, I'm bringing those transferable skills 
in uh, uh, to, to the point that you know we are taking this as a project and then we're looking at the risks involved when i talk about mm. risk, i'm talking about financial risk you know um you know we're looking at health and safety everything and we're taking yes. those and project managing that to succession you know so to make sure that i'm not gonna crash in two seasons or something like that we mm -hmm. have to do uh, the, the the background work so the journey actually started in 2016 believe it or not mm -hmm. and we just managed to come out with yes. the product okay i think we have some questions here for you can you see the questions okay i want to no, scroll. i can't see it so. uh okay sorry okay i'm going to read them because i don't want to tamper with the screen sorry let's take a few questions um hold on when do we get um somebody's asking the question um when do we get to watch the series in ghana <laughs> it's a very very good question and i get this quite a lot um currently i'm talking to um you know a few platforms that can get this released in ghana um i haven't bottomed out anything specific yet so i'm still open to ideas on to what people think we could uh, we could do if we are in advanced stage on some of the world leading platforms that will reach ghana 100 percent but i'm not gonna wait uh, if yes. tomorrow i get something else uh, or someone else come up with an idea that can get it to ghana faster then i will do that because i really want to get this out there to ghana as well yeah well and someone says that oh go trending crimes it's certainly an amazing series yeah it is an amazing series i've actually watched some of the series and i can tell you it was like wow there was one i watched and my heart was like oops what's gonna happen to the ladies <laughs> so it's been so wonderful and um what are the major challenges you face in, as a filmmaker someone is asking a question that is a very very good question there are you know looking at it from an african perspective or, or a ghanaian perspective is a challenge yes. because um you know we sometimes we think that by making films in ghana is easier and that is yes. um the challenges are massive because uh, we're thinking about because we we are we pride ourselves with quality you get what i mean mm. when i say quality i'm talking about quality pictures and quality audio you know quality post-production now to get the equipment that i need to give me that quality that will make me proud of the product means that i need to import stuff into the country into ghana so there's cost involved it, it doesn't mean that i cannot get the equip same equipment in ghana i can of course because Ghana, there, there's some amazing equipment out there. I'm not going to knock it. But to ensure that I'm guaranteed that I'm going to get what I need at the right time, sometimes you need to import it from outside the country. Yes. That, some of my challenges are logistics, importing the right okay. stuff. And also, well, when you are in, yeah, sometimes when you are in Ghana as well, getting the right locations can be another challenge as well mm -hmm. that you get but mm -hmm. we do have amazing talent in ghana and i will not knock it you know um uh, so that's 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 my challenge when it yeah. comes to the uk filming because i did some of the filming in the uk as well um the, the challenges are a lot less or manageable or controlled um you know but it's all down to cash yeah. Cash. Oh wow. Interesting. Yeah. Um someone just asked a question now. How many seasons is trending crimes going for? Because we can't wait to see the rest. <laughs> so uh seasons is endless. Um as long as we we have uh the, the people interested in it um mm. we are gonna make it and uh, i'm not uh, and i'm not saying this lightly um i love to see uh the joy on people's faces yes. when they've seen the series you know yeah. that is what gives me the satisfaction mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter if it's thousand people or one person mm -hmm. um, because i make the product and i'm making the product that i love to see of course and, and of so course by doing that i know people are mm. gonna love it so i'm not compromising so i will keep going so to answer the question 
I'm going to keep going. Uh, season one is only three episodes. I'm not going to lie. Yes. But season two, we're going for a 13 episode in season two. And mm. then season three, because I had a question from uh, uh, from Los Angeles the other day saying, oh, yes. we see 20, uh, 20 episodes. And I said, we are mm. building ourselves to that point. You know, yes. we're starting off uh, gradually and make sure that we build up and build up and build up build it for sustainability to sustain uh to sustain we build yes it yes okay i have a question for you in your own opinion what's the difference or advancement between the nollywood and the galawood <laughs> um <laughs> this is an interesting one uh, i mean uh, uh, people call it gallywood i'm not sure if this name has been adopted yet i know there was um there was um how do you call it there was some idea of calling a gallywood and mm -hmm. as far as uh, i'm concerned that name has not been adopted yet because uh, uh, i'm on a platform with uh, you know the producers in ghana yes. and as far as i'm concerned the name gallywood has not been um adopted yet but i i take it that the the person that asked the question wants to know the difference between ghana filmmaking and nigerian yeah. filmmaking the main difference is that i think nigeria has more unity and the support is amazing you know wow. because i'm yeah. been to premieres of nigeria movies <laughs> in, in, in in the uk and yes. they put an up you know and mm. i was speaking to one of the uh, one of the uh, people in the audience saying how do you people do it and he says that's the only way to do it is to support our own yeah. <laughs> so I think to the Nigerians, when it comes to Ghana, I, I, I think a time is going to come that we're going to yes. get there. And, and because the support is not there for Ghanaians, you have mm. a lot of filmmakers that are not able to go on that sustainability yes. journey. So they are making, uh, you know, a low and kind of films because mm. they need to get their money so we need to build ourselves to the point whereby our audience or the local audience will have a belief in us that the product that we bring in is a par with what uh -huh. the world uh, what the world has to offer mm -hmm. so once we get this down to the team yes. believe me we're gonna catch the nigerians up so i'm throwing this out to nollywood you are having fun, but matter of time, we catching you up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That's good. So let's talk about the Netflix now. So how is trending crime, you know, thinking of going, taking the movie into Netflix? Okay, so that is uh, another avenue. I wasn't going to mention it because I don't want to mention names, but uh, yeah. we, we de definitely uh, in negotiation or have made approach um, uh, to the Netflix uh, side yes. of things. And then uh, we're going through that process to see um, how far we get to. But um, mm. we, we are on a platform that has like over 100 platforms. Uh, you know, we are on this website uh, that yeah. opens our, our market to about 100 sort of uh, platforms across the yes. world as well. So it's not just Netflix, but uh, we're looking at uh, other places as well. Okay, other places like, do you want to give one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> like the Caribbean, for example. There's a market out there, and uh, believe it or not, I, I found out the other day that uh, you know the Caribbean market loves African films. Yes. I was like, really? They said yes, they do. <laughs> so it is uh, another place that you know. If uh, I've got some producers on here, I'm just telling you, there's a big market out there yes. in the Caribbean as well. So we are going all all, all out. Mm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for everyone joining in. We have in the house tonight Ben Dakwa, a producer, a movie director, an actor, whatever. He's so talented, a civil engineer. <laughs> what else? You know, so it's been nice, you know, having a chat with him. Okay, now let me ask you this question. What steps do you need to take if you're passionate about acting? And what would you like to um would you like to appear on trending crimes? Okay, so um, that is, I, I, I'm really glad you've asked me this question because it comes yes. out a lot, you know, it's, now I get a lot of people that says I want to act, I want to do this, um, yes. and as long as you have a vision, 
Israel, that vision will come to pass. What stands between the vision becoming a reality is you. Once you do not back down, once you do not put hurdles in your way, you would hit your target so what i would tell people that want to be part or want to get into acting is yes. start acting you see mm. nowadays it's so easy there's platform like TikTok and that can, yes. that, that people can show real talent and True. you would be surprised how many producers pay attention to these little platforms mm. and then select cast people that they haven't met before so if you do have um you know passion to go into mm. acting then yes you know places like tiktok is always good for you to start mm. showcase put your show real out there and yes then see what you can do and we will see you of course if you want to come into trending crimes you could contact me directly through my social mm -hmm. media handles and then um, you know i will be talking to you in the background and I'll, in, in time, I'll get you to send me stuff and uh, I'll put you on my database. And uh, yes. so if something comes that suits you, I will definitely say it. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. Um, how has your alma mater, St. Augustine, influenced or spurred you into your current interview? Sorry, I said that again. Um, how has your alma mater, St. Augustine's, influenced or spurred you into your current endeavor? Okay, so, so you know, St. Augustine's, right, yes. it, it's an amazing institution. I wouldn't lie to you. The, the, the spirit, you know, the, what that school built into you. Um, you know, we do also, I went to St. Augustine's, um, did my O-levels, then I went to, I did my A-level in St. John's. So St. John's, I'm not knocking them down, I saw they also another amazing school. But what St. Augustine's did was give me, give me that confidence yes. that I cannot be limited, that, you know, whatever I want to achieve, I can achieve. And I have amazing people behind me, you know. Uh, some of my mates are in all sorts of positions. And uh, though we might have our differences, they are always there to support. They are always there to make sure that the brotherhood is strong. So what St. Augustine's has done to me is yes. giving me that uh, courage to yes. be able to be robust in the world that we're in. So no matter what terrain that we're in, we will survive. And I'm not just saying this lightly. I've seen other people that have been in, uh, to St. Augustine's College, and then you see them thriving everywhere because we have been made to be robust. So I'm really thankful. Wow. Thank you so much for that. Um, I'm just trying to pin down your um, your Instagram handle so that everyone can see and then you can follow him if you want to go into filmmaking or, you know, be a producer or something. So he's here for you. Okay, so let me ask you now. So um, um, where will your brand and your content primarily, um, where will it leave? Your brand and your content? What, what? What we late? Where, where is it gonna leave? You know your brand and your content. All right. Okay. Okay. So, so my brand and content, um, in um, depending on what time frame we're looking at. If we're looking at the short term, uh, it's it now lives on Amazon Prime. Okay. Amazon Prime UK, Amazon Prime US. You type in trending crimes, and it will pop up with five star reviews. Um, mm. All the reviews there are amazing. You know, any, yes. any day that I feel uh, a bit down, I go to Amazon Prime UK, where mm. I read those reviews, and I'm um, like, you know, the spirit inside of me rises. Mm. If you're looking at the medium term, we expect to see trending crimes on Netflix. We expect to see trending crimes on local televisions, the BBC, everywhere. Mm. If you talk about um, long term, you expect to see anytime you say training crimes, no matter where you are on the globe, mm, you expect yeah. to see training crimes or people would have heard of training crimes. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. I have a question for you here. Do you also write your scripts and do you run workshops for people who want to go into movie production? 
The, the, the first um, part of the question is, do you always, uh, do you write your script? So far, yes, yes. I've written all my uh, three scripts. And um, before I shot it, to make sure that I wasn't deviating from some of the uh, major norms, is uh, all the scripts went through, uh, you know, uh, the award scheme as well. Yes. There's no test in it. And uh, yes. I won awards. So I've got yes. two, two of my awards was yes. just for the script to hmm. uh, say that this is really good this is good to go this is gonna wow. be well that's so inspiring <laughs> yeah so i love to write uh, and and uh, oh, just to, just to drop one in i've got another a book on domestic violence that is on amazon as well and uh, so wow. i can go and get a police diary that's the name of the book when it comes to do i run workshop at the minute no i don't but uh, i do encourage people that want to be in the trade and uh, yes. you know i'm always willing to uh you know help people out if they want to yeah. uh, come on this journey i'm always there okay. to help them yeah okay so that's fine so you can always go to um his um instagram handle and you know he will actually put you through um have you always had a, a passion for filmmaking have i what sorry have you always had a passion a passion for filmmaking yes 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 okay. yes yes i cannot say yes enough um filmmaking is one of the major tools for effective communication no matter where we are no matter what environment you are in yes it, it, it influences lives you know it can influence you in a positive light or a negative light yes no matter what it is it's really good so i've always had that passion to be in filmmaking but number one my two passions you know before I, when i started this interview is when yes. i was six years old i wanted oh. to be in the creative uh, arts world and i also uh. wanted to be an engineer do you understand wow. now I, I realized that you know to be in the creative side of things normally does not put food on the table especially mm -hmm. when you are beginning so we start with what will give us food on the table and make table. us comfortable whilst we're not forgetting about our other side you know so i've got to a point that now as i sit here now i've got 19 years in, in the construction industry as an engineer mm. so it's yes. time that i'm able to also bring my other side and pull it up mm. and this is exactly what i'm doing so yes, yes. i always had that passion but it was all about timing getting it in at a time that you can sustain it and you know have impact you know on your audience on your audience oh wow interesting maybe people will actually see me one of your movies because i love to act but i don't know okay. <laughs> <Where is it? laughs> oh my days okay let me take um um i'm sure i don't want to miss out on questions um i think please send in your questions for um, my guest you know i'm trying to scroll down now so i hope i've not missed any question uh can you see um do you have um scripts okay um I, I don't think there's any other questions there so um okay let me ask you a question now um so why do you create your branch can you tell me why do you create your branch or you know why are you creating your branch i'm creating it to educate okay. that, that's it creating it to educate creating it to entertain you know mm. creating it for people that you know perhaps do not have that self-value to feel valuable you know mm. creating it for opportunities for people out there that have passion in acting yes. to get that you know uh foot uh, to get their leg in and yes. creating it for perhaps the uh the average in, uh um you know actor in ghana yes. that have dreams of reaching the world but do not have the platform mm -hmm. you know so in, what what you find now is when you go into my uh stuff there's some actors that you probably have not heard before they mm -hmm. are actors and actresses really yes good. And we are catapulting them to the world and, and beaming, putting the beam, the light on them so people can see. It's about time for, you know, uh, 
like the likes of Hollywood and that kind of stuff to see mm-hmm. that talent, raw talent is in Africa. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. so it, it's about it's about that. So that's what we created. Oh wow. Thank you so much. Okay, I have a question here. Did it feel liberating when you finally got to that point in time when you felt it was right to get into creativity? Did I feel so? Can you ask the question? Did, did you oh, did it feel liberating when you finally got to that point in time when you felt it was right to get into creativity? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you, before, before I, I really would have loved to start creating. Uh, yeah. you know, right from uh, the age of six that I spoke about. But, uh, you know, there's time for everything. So um, my strongest, strongest passion uh, at the point that yes. I felt I should create was 1995. Yes. You know, yes. where, you know, I thought, I'm ready to go. And then as I, you know, there was a time I used to go and start looking at locations and I get yes. things or I can see someone running down this way. And, and sometimes I'm there and I could feel, I could physically see like vision, things playing out in my eyes and that kind of stuff. So mm. the, the passion was so strong. But yes. you know, you, the, the money is what speaks. And we didn't yes. have it. So at that point, we created a drama troupe with the star of the Sea Youth Club. And then we, yes. we, we were, I wrote my first script then. And then we, we, we had drama that we used to go around to schools yes. and, and demonstrate the talent. So yes. the right time to get this creativity to the world is now. Mm. Okay, there's another question here. Um, do you have plans to take production to the cinema? I already had one to the cinema before okay. um, uh, yeah i had a film called police diary and i sent that to the cinema and uh, it was in the cinema in the uk and and ghana as well what i okay. realized is that when you create a product for this sometime yes. that could be so narrow and you cannot catch a lot of people um, and when you create series you can create audience followers that once they watch one and they know the brand they keep coming for more hmm. and so that's why i'm targeting series but series. of course uh, every now and then we put some stuff through cinema yeah but okay but can i just drop this in yes yes yes, yes. Time you see my product in the cinema yes. it's not gonna be a little fish it's gonna Ooh. be up there with anything that you can think of i can tell you oh wow brilliant well thank you so much you know but you know the interesting thing because in nigeria most of the time um the movie directors and all that they actually take the movies to the cinema and that's where they actually make the money from but because of this pandemic now most of them are now doing the series so but it's so funny that in the uk like um, you know the cinema is not really bringing so much money or food at the table that's fine okay um so i've got a lot of questions here um someone is asking can you actually take us through the creative process into filmmaking briefly yes okay so uh, the pro- uh, the process starts when you have an idea so okay. one what do you want to create and then you you got the idea and you write it down so you you write it now you got a script and then you break the script down by you know so you can cost it correctly and then you go okay so this is gonna cost that so you create your budget once yes. you have your budget you do your casting and then you, you, you do your location hands and, and that kind of stuff. Um, your time frame, uh, you select your crew and, and, and that. So once you've got all those and you've got your time set, you go on set, um, you, you, you film it. After filming, that is probably about 30% of the work done because um. the filming itself does not take a lot of time. It's your post production. And I believe this is where most of us get it wrong because uh, we think that by filming, that's it. But the post production is a lot of work. You're looking at about the, the, you know, cutting, putting all the rushes or the stuff that the bits that you've picked up from set together yes. and creating. Uh, it into uh, the product that you how you want it to look uh, the director sit down and look at it 
um, or in, in my case, I, I would I will also have an input and, 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 and look at it to make sure that I'm happy with everything that we've got. If there's bits that I'm not happy with, we go back on set and we go and reshoot until I'm happy. Then we, we got the sound people doing the cleaning of the sound, making sure that the sound is, uh, you know, where we want it to be. You know, on, on in my case, uh, I was so fussy about how the sound came across. When it came to the yeah. pictures, you got someone that is, uh, you know, polishing the pictures, color grading and all this kind of stuff as well. That is no problem. That was so easy. Yeah, I was so happy. When it comes to sound, I'm thinking, no, I could hear a bit of background sounding. I don't want it. Yes. And then we went through the process about five times and I was happy in the end. Then I had a, a, a guy in, in, uh, in, in Hollywood. Uh, he's uh, a Hollywood, um, you know, a composer that uh. stole my product. And he says, man, this is going to blow. You know how the Americans go? Yes. Gonna blow up. Then, so, so, so he was like, I believe in your product. And I said, yeah, but I can't afford you. And he says, yeah, but what do you think I'm going to charge? So he said his price and I said, I can't afford it. And he cut it down and I said, I can't afford it. And he brought it to next to nothing, saying, I know where this product is going to be. So I'm going to invest yes. into it. So he did that sound bit for my last bit, And then he wrap it up into the bit that is ready for people to see. So that's the process. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so you guys have heard it all from the movie director himself, Ben Dakwa, you know, so it's been so insightful, it's been so helpful. Uh, okay, someone is asking a question here. So, who, um, okay, hold on. Um, do you have colleagues in the same field? Um, do you have colleagues in the same field in Ghana or the UK that you would like to give a shout out to? Or possibly possibly collaborate with the with, with them in the future yes um I, I would like to shout out to all my uh saint augustine's uh, year group mates that are into the same film um you know the people that are the other act, actors or uh, you know, into the uh, crew side of things i'll give them shout out a shout out yes. to Asu. 93 UK, they know who mm -hmm. they are. If there are some of them here, they would know. Um, a shout out to, um, you know, uh, the cast and crew, you know, mm. in Ghana, the cast and crew in the UK, you know, yes. the, the, the crew in the US. A shout out to all of them. They've done an amazing work and uh, okay. I'll work with them all, over and over again. Over and over again. Some of the actors specifically are doing a lot to promote us. My own yes. brother, um, you know, uh, uh, Kudakwa um, is doing a lot to um, to promote us as well. Uh, I've got mm. the likes of Metallic, Kwesi um, okay. you know, in the UK, also pushing pushing for us. I could keep mentioning names. Uh, yes. And I will not finish. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, so that's fine. The whole lot. Like, yeah, so that's fine. So someone said marvelous work you did with the trending crimes, and I'm taking I'm taking taking from your talk. It's time and patience. Much respect to you. Um, so, um, who is your model filmmaker, and who inspires you? <laughs> um, that is a question that I thought was not gonna come up. <laughs> Someone just <laughs> asked now. <laughs> because that is gonna get me into trouble. But um, um, I will say one thing, right? And I'm gonna keep this local. Yes. The people, the person that inspired me, uh, I have not even met you before. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. uh, it's a lady in Ghana called Shelly from Port Manzo. Right. I've never met this lady before. Um, I don't know how they behave, but I saw their work and I thought, you know what, if she could do it, the rest of us can. Since oh, yeah. then, I, another person that inspired me is called Peter Sedifia. He's uh, a, a filmmaker and he actually directed one of my series. I look up yeah. to him a lot. And then there's well, another guy called uh, Japasu um, Dixon, uh, also a director. He's doing a lot out there and I respect him a lot. And finally, yeah. there is a, a, you know, a cinematographer called Kofi Asante. This guy is amazing. I mean, you know, I don't want to talk about his size because he's here. Yes. And this guy can go all day. Professional. Well, he's always okay. there on time. So, okay. you know, that's his fine. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, so how do you fund your production and what's the primary source of income? The primary source of income is uh, people watching it. Uh, the cost of funding, uh, this is self-funding, uh, you know, this first one, because uh, sometimes what you do is you don't want um, the pressure of someone on your back saying, um, you know, oh, when are we going to get the money back? Let's do this, let's do that. You know, uh, I, I do have few people that have put stake into this. Uh, yes. In Ghana, they've got money in there and that kind of stuff, but there's no pressure on me so th th that's good so it's all he said mostly self-funding and um uh, this source of income is true when people watch it and true people. We, yeah and we have a forecast of how this money is going to come in and currently i can tell you we are on target oh wow thank you so you've heard it the primary source of income is like when people watch so please as you're watching us now please go on amazon prime and kindly watch you know trending crime i've been watching trust me and i've been blessed it's amazing and i can't wait for your 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 series to go on um netflix trust me and i can see that already because you're doing a great job out there thank you so much okay so what's the key message you would like to give to the young stars coming up that are very passionate about creativity the arts and the filmmaking so what's the message the message that i've got for everyone is um and this is not mine it, um, it's a borrowed message yes. if you cannot um run walk mm. if you cannot walk crawl mm. but whatever you do keep moving uh, the the worst thing that will ever happen to you is to say i do not have what it takes everybody has what it takes what it takes sometimes yes. it's not all about cash it's about mm. what you can do and what you can put in and nowadays everybody <laughs> has access to a mobile phone do what you can don't mm. let any if there's a one reason why you cannot achieve your dream is mm. because you are making a mountain out of nothing. You know, push wow. what you can, do what you can, and believe yes. me, it will unravel. Yeah, yeah, that's me. You're talking to me. <laughs> you, you have to push, you know. It's like that was actually for me. And I'm sure someone has been blessed. Oh, what's going on with his. Um, okay i'm um, still waiting for um people to send in their questions you know let me see if i've missed on anything we've got just few minutes so please kindly <laughs> yeah so well done you know yes that was actually marvelous so please feel free to send in your question we're talking to a great guy here you know he's a Ghanaian, and you know trust me i can only bring the best you know to this live session so for those who don't know him he's ben dakwa you know he's a movie director an actor you know a civil engineer as well and what else what else have I missed out? A producer. I'm a producer as well. <laughs> okay, okay. And then, yeah, because he's actually into lots of things. And do you want to tell us about the awards and all that, you know? Okay, so um, I've won, um, currently, the last time I checked, I think I said to you that I've won five awards, right? But it's actually yes. six. Uh, that wow. I, I've, I've won. And then I'm not even counting the one hmm. that gave me special mention uh wow. the award i haven't spoken about or well, i didn't win it but uh, there was a special mention and they're using uh what my work for a lot of their promotion is the hollywood south film yes. uh, hollywood hollywood south uh film festival uh that yes. showcased our work and they loved it as well um wow. so and then i've won uh one at uh, um golden state film festival is in los angeles uh, yes. they really appreciated our work mm -hmm. they gave us the best international shorts film hey. award um, mm. <laughs> then uh, recently i've won a uh, black of Film Festival is also in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. and, uh, really prestigious uh, award. award. And, and the result one, I only mm -hmm. sent across um, a little bit of season two to them. Yes. You know, I kind of put season two, what we've done so far, put it together and send it to them. And it kind of blew them away. 
and they went home. You got a jury award. So that should tell you the fire coming in in season two. I cannot wait. If you think season one is good, wait till you see season two. Season two. Oh, you yes. I'm, I'm looking forward to it as work. well. Wow, great guy here. You know one thing about him? He is so humble. You need to meet with him. Ben Dankwa is one of the most humble people I've actually met. You know, you would not know that he's actually a great guy, but I tell you, when you meet him, his humility is something else. Trust me, he's a wonderful man. And all I can say is thank you so much for taking our time to do this. You know, okay. We have about how many more minutes? So let me just round up. Okay. Um, so how do you someone is asking a question here how do you balance work with family life it is uh, this is the hardest thing you know because uh, especially when you you got a day job yes yeah, yeah, and, and like i said i'm a civil engineer on one of the most prestigious job in london yes um, and you know you work nine to five so the time, especially when I'm writing, the time to write is when I'm on the train, you know, wow. going to work. And hmm. then you get back home, and sometimes you'll be asleep, and about midnight, an idea comes. Hmm. And then you go, you know what? Yes, this is what I was waiting for. The aha moment. Then you, you kind of crawl out of bed. It may be like nobody will see you, and you write it down because you don't want to forget. You know, and sometimes you be doing stuff and you think you know it's about time to stop because it's going one way. So it is hard work. It's not easy, um, um, but it is doable. It's to make sure that the kids don't suffer because of the um, uh, you know what you have to do. It might be mm. help me off sometimes. You know that daddy. Um, we want undivided attention now, and I go, All right, okay, that's fine. So, and I realized that spending time with family is not always about, uh, it's not always about quantity, mm. the quality, the quality. So, yeah, so you might spend half an hour with a child, and they will appreciate it more than you spending five hours. Wow. Wow, thank you so much. You really inspired me today. God bless you. And I can see someone saying, Ben, she takes a bow, you know. And someone says, I actually find myself clapping. Well done, Ben. You know, so people have actually appreciated, you know. Um, well, let me see. If you're trying, okay, uh, there's a question for you. If you're trying to get productions out there, what advice would one, what would your advice want to do? Okay, so what I would advise you to do is do not rush it. No matter what you do, do not rush it. Uh, take your time, yes. do your best, and put your resources, limit your resource to what it, how much it can stretch to. Uh. Do not try and put a finished product because you have to get it out there. Only uh. get it out there when the time is right. Rome yes. was not built in one day. Yes. It might take somebody a, a year to get a product out. Someone, it might take 10. You know, mm. we are, it's not a race. It's about getting a quality product that people will value. By yes. putting a product out there that is not ready, you're only going to lose respect and you're going to mm. lose all the, you know, the attention that you need. And it will kill your dream quicker. If you take your time, it takes 10 years to come up with one product that people will watch and know that, this is good. It goes a long way and a lifetime. And it's not just you that will enjoy the benefit. Your kids, your grandkids, and your kids, your kids will come. You have said it all. You have said it all. <laughs> like this. <laughs> you have said it all. Trust me. I don't even know what to say again. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I think we'll, we'll, we'll just take um, one more question because we have just eight minutes to go. So, um, um, please feel free to send in your questions. Um, let me see if I've missed on anyone's um, question. So please feel free to send in your question. We have just eight minutes to go. Um, someone says you are an inspiration. Well, yeah, I agree. You know, if you haven't even met him, trust me, he's an inspiration. Yes. So don't just look like, okay, 
who is this or something this is actually a great guy we are actually speaking with you know tonight and god bless you um okay so i have one more question do you have old Ghanaian movies or personalities that inspire you uh, the personalities that inspire me um i would say that my kids do inspire me uh, wow um, um uh, my little boy is amazing um and he's honest with me and he doesn't hold back telling me off yeah. <laughs> my, my mom inspires me uh, because my mom is somebody that um you know i can always rely on for advice and uh, my friends inspire me my schoolmates yes. they do inspire me uh, I'm, why am i saying these people i'm saying these people because they can be real they don't need to mm. approach anything you understand yes. and uh, no, i might not like what i'm hearing but it's real so mm. the, 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 the few people that inspire me i've mentioned uh, yeah my daughter inspires me as well oh wow interesting wow interesting that actually sounds like what's happening in my house as well because uh, my children also inspire me they tell me things and all that and my husband is my number one fan anyways he's always behind in the scene you know so that's actually interesting you know okay so uh can i see if we we'll have any question uh, okay so just one quick one before we round up okay so um let me see let me see let me see so how are you going to communicate your how how will you communicate your ideas through your brand let's just quickly round that up yes okay so so how i communicate my ideas through my brand is yes. uh, making sure that when i write i always come back to basis i use yes. what you call zero basing so um. i have an idea I write, and at the end of the yes. day, I go and evaluate it and say, "Have I actually done?" Yes. And then oh. um, also make sure that uh, when a shot is put on the right platforms, so um, I can communicate it. You know, good visual art will definitely yes. bring out the message, and the message oh. will be received by the right people that need to hear it. The right people that need to hear. So, you've heard it um, so what's your dream project? My dream, ask a question. Yes. Okay, so my dream project is uh, carrying on doing the social um, uh, issues, tackling social issues. Uh, my dream project is uh, one day getting partners all across uh, the globe. I'm not just mm. talking about uh, Hollywood. I'm talking about Bollywood. I'm talking about Nollywood um, and that kind of stuff coming yes. together to create this massive project. Yes. that will take the world by storm and mm. when i say massive project i'm not just talking about uh you know trying to build to a standard like a hollywood yes. standard. It, yes. it's going to be the debt project you know mm. nothing is going to be bigger than it if you get what mm. i mean um yes. and just to just throw something in there i do not conform to uh, a standard uh, you know i am my own person i mm. have my style I'm not trying to imitate anybody because the copycat can not be as never be as good as the master. Mm. If you are, you are real and you have your own dreams and vision, vision. you can create a brand that was you know can hit the core of your target. Target. Wow. Interesting. So you've got to be your own self. Don't be a copycat. You know, just be real and be true to yourself. You know, so and you've got to have a vision as well. You know, so you've heard it all from the one and only Ben Dakwa, the great man in the house. So, so just to round up. You know, just you know, leave us with some words and whatever you want to tell us because of time now. So just yeah so please if you wanna if you haven't seen the product then please watch it it's trending crimes on amazon prime uk amazon prime us i've got mm -hmm. um a facebook account you can follow me bendakwa yes. or you could follow us uh, trending crimes we are on uh, we are on um, uh, facebook we are on instagram uh, yes. and then on twitter as well and and then if you've watched it please share 
because um, um, we haven't got to the point whereby we get an automatic recommendation by the platform of amazon uh, but if, if the more we share with our friends and the more yes. traffic the product gets then yes. amazon prime kicks in and start recommending it to everybody else so that we can get the message across yes uh, it's a Ghanaian message yes it's a uh, british message but it's a message that cut across the globe so please 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 support us by sharing with your friends and uh, i'm always happy to talk to anybody that want to talk to us and i'm happy to answer questions you know i'm not pompous at all and i'm you know i'm just the ordinary bed the ordinary person yes i know that about him he's a very gentle person down to earth very very humble you know very simple to the core you know so once again i'd like to say a very big thank you to vendakwa for joining us in the live session today we've been truly blessed and for those who are just joining in you can actually go to his instagram handle at vendakwa you know so please kindly follow him and be inspired you know and if you really want to know more about filmmaking you know movie and all that you know this is the man for you and we're so proud to have him in cambridge as well you know he's done a wonderful job in the um, cambridge african network as well yes yeah. so, i don't know how you juggle everything yes i was there. yeah I, I don't know how you juggle everything you know like okay you're here today cambridge african network civil engineer in london you're in ghana again shooting your movies and all that so <laughs> what was it What's been the secret, the energy level that you've got? What's been the energy level? <laughs> and the, the energy, the secret is that when you have a passion, when you have a mm. dream, um, a, and then you believe you're going to achieve it, you will. And then, mm. you know, leading the African network in Cambridge actually taught yes. me thoughts that, you know, humanity yes. do need us. You know, nobody is going to tell the African story the, uh, as best as we can tell it. You know, yes. so if other people are telling the stories, why can't we yes. tell it ourselves? Do you know yes. what I'm saying? So I took that challenge by looking mm. at uh, you know, suffering that people were going through and thinking, you know yes. what, we need to stop this and we yes. need to highlight this. And if anybody is going to do it, why not us? Do you know yes. what I mean? So um, I, I love working with my own. I love projecting the African agenda and I yes. love to uh, let our brothers, you know, across the, the globe, the, the, the black Americans, yes. you know, the Caribbean, that it doesn't matter. We are mm. all the same. We are okay. in this together. What's going on in America? We are all in this together and we've got mm. to fight this. So I stand for my people people wow thank you so much you know i need to save this so because i don't want the time is just like i have just one minute to say thank you so much for joining us tonight please go to ben Dakwa at ben Dakwa instagram if you want to know more about him film producing whatever so please just go to his page thank you all for joining in i read your dog someone is asking tell us about yourself sister okay for those who don't know me my name is mora don't i'm popularly known as m1 i'm an event planner in Cambridge, I do events in Nigeria as well. I do charity stuff as well. Also, an MC, um, a decorator. <laughs> what, have, what have you? So, um, yes, go to my page and you'll get to find out more. I'm into comedy skits as well. So, thank you all for joining in. We have 10 seconds and it's gonna go. So, thank you so much. I need thank to you. save this now. Thank you. God bless. Bye. It's gonna save it. Bye. Thank you.